Good day grade 10. In this lesson we're going to be looking at precipitation reactions, specifically halide tests. I'll explain what I mean by halide tests in a second. So let's talk about precipitation. Sometimes ions in solution react with each other to form a new substance which is insoluble. In other words it doesn't dissolve. And this substance is called a precipitate and the reaction is called a precipitation reaction. So the definition of precipitate is a solid that forms in a solution during a chemical reaction. Now what's cool about this is that we can use precipitates to test for different things. So let's talk about the halide test. Hal the halogens are chlorine, bromine and iodine. For example, it's all of group 7, but we're only going to be looking at chlorine, bromine and iodine. They form halide ions, chloride, bromide and iodide. All halides form precipitates when added to acidified silver nitrate. So all halides form precipitates when added to acidified silver nitrate. So if we add a halide, so for example sodium chloride to silver nitrate, we'll end up with a precipitate. So that's one of the ways that we can find out if we've got a halide. But sometimes we need to be a bit more specific than that. So let's have a look at a halide test. Let us take a look now at the reaction of the halide salts with silver nitrate solution I'm using 0.1 molar silver nitrate solution which I have in this boiling tube on the right. I'm going to acidify the silver nitrate. This test then works with acidified silver nitrate and I'm using concentrated nitric acid and just adding a few drops to the silver nitrate. There they go. So on the right we've got acidified silver nitrate. Each of these halide salts are of sodium and they are white crystalline solids. I'm going to add deionized water to each to make a solution. That's a solution of aqueous sodium chloride, aqueous sodium bromide and aqueous sodium iodide. I'm going to add now the Acidified aqueous silver nitrate to each of these in turn. First of all, the one on the left here is sodium chloride solution. Just one or two drops to begin with. And you should observe there the formation of a white precipitate. Add a few drops to the middle one, which is aqueous sodium bromide. Again, you see a precipitate. You may just be able to make out the difference between the first and second. First is white, white precipitate. That's silver chloride that is formed. In the middle here, then, we have a cream or off white precipitate of silver bromide. Let's see what happens with the iodide salt. We add then the acidified aqueous silver nitrate to the aqueous sodium iodide solution here on the right. Here we go. Just a few drops. First of all, here a precipitate forms immediately. And this is a yellow precipitate. We'll be able to see it maybe a little bit more clearly in a moment. Hope you can see the one on the right is yellow. One in, the left, one in the middle is more of a cream colour and the one on the left white. These are light sensitive reactions, so let's just watch them for a few moments. See what happens. You can see the suspensions beginning to darken as a result of interactions with light. The first two, the silver chloride formed on the left and the middle one, the silver bromide, they are light sensitive, so we expect to see those darken. Indeed, it is silver bromide that is used in photography. There you see how it is finished up. Right, 
so that was a halide test. So let's talk about the test for chloride ions. And we add the silver nitrate plus the concentrated nitric acid. We find that a white precipitate forms. Grade tens, you need to learn the colors. You need to know that if you add your silver nitrate and you get a white precipitate, you know that you've got chloride ions. The reaction equation, which you don't actually need to learn, but you need to understand, is we've got chloride ions plus the silver plus ions from the silver nitrate and the nitrate ions NO3 minus forms these two join up together to form silver chloride and we end up with the nitrate ions still. Okay, if we look at the bromide ions, we add the silver nitrate plus the concentrated nitric acid, we end up with a cream precipitate, precipitate and the reaction here again is the bromide minus plus the silver plus plus the nitride ions, the silver plus and the bromide minus join up together to form a nice big precipitate which is AGBR, silver bromide and note the little subscript of a S because it is a precipitate, it is a solid. Right, and then finally we test for iodine ions or iodide ions, we add the silver nitrate plus concentrated, this time it's going to form a light yellow precipitate. And the reaction is iodide or iodine ion plus silver nit silver plus plus nitrate gives you silver iodide plus your nitrate and again your solid precipitate. So that is your halide test, you need to learn what you added which is your silver nitrate, you need to know that you acidified it and you need to know the colors of the precipitates. Thank you, great turns, have a great day.